What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, the splendiferous world of indie games, the magical world of indie games, we're checking out Ex Anima. I've had a lot of requests over the years to revisit this game and check it out now that it's had time to develop. Back when I played this game, there was only the first floor. I never survived the first floor, I want to be clear about that. But, there was only the first floor. Now there's like loads and loads of floors and all kinds of stuff to do. So anyways, let's check out Ex Anima. The best way that I know how to describe this game is it's a... It's a physics-based RPG combat game. Like, imagine you have medieval knights fighting each other, but make sure both of those knights are in the process of nodding off from, like, a heroin binge. That's basically Ex Anima, but for whatever reason, I know that sounds like a negative thing. That, may that sounds like I'm making fun of the game, but I'm really not. Like, the game is actually fun. For the considerable amount of goofy things that happen in this game, it actually is really, really fun. So let's check it out. Uh, we will be the unknown, apparently. Now, we've got our character right here. We can create our character. I played for an hour last night under the, under the, the, the very, very wonderful and also prestigious name Fart. We'll change that momentarily. I, I think I'll probably, we gotta have like a better hairstyle here. It's gotta be, yeah, dude. That's what we need right there is we need some quaffed hair. That's what every good hero, every good hero has quaffed hair. Uh, we will be Quaffman. Perfect. Just slap the bowl on my head and just make it happen, Cap. And that's what we say when we go to the barber. Just slap a bowl on my head, trim around the edges with some scissors. Uh, we got some clothing here. I guess I'll have a blue shirt because having a red shirt makes me feel like I'm disposable. We'll put on the shoes. We can pick some abilities if you want to. I don't know that much about the abilities. Like, I've played around with some of the close combat abilities, like Remise or like faint. I've played around with some of the defensive abilities. I don't honestly know what most of them do. Uh, deflection seems to work pretty well. It seems to make your character automatically like block stuff every now and again. So I was playing around with that because it seemed to eliminate a lot of damage while I was dancing around the enemy ungracefully like a drunken goose. Uh, let's start the game. So here we are. Awakening in the middle. Ah, face down in a pile of pebbles. That's exactly, you know, I really like to start my day forehead into some gravel. That's always the best way to uh, start out any adventure. So the first thing you need to know about this game is that the controls for the character are a little bit weird. They're going to take some getting used to. Uh, so the game is not camera centric. The game is character centric. Meaning that if you press W, you always move forward with respect to the direction your character is facing. Rather than just moving upwards on the camera with respect to the way the camera is facing. Uh, as a corollary, it's kind of like Resident Evil, I guess. The older Resident Evils. Uh, we need to pick this up right here. We're going to need this torch. So let's go ahead and we're going to click and drag that over to meh. And so now we have a torch. We can see. Uh, there's also a spike that's on top of this crate over here. I found this. I saw it when I was playing last time, and so we're going to equip the spike right there. So we've got a weapon in our hand, and we've also got ourselves a light source. That's a really, really good thing because being able to see is going to be important. If we hold down shift, we can sprint. If we press the tab key, it'll put us into combat mode where we'll automatically face towards either the cursor or if there's an enemy on screen, you'll face towards the enemy. Uh, we can actually move around a little bit, just kind of dodge go backwards, forwards, so on and so forth. There's different attacks you can do. You can swing like that. If you hold down out, there's also like a stab. We can shank a guy. Uh, they don't really tell you any of this stuff. I do think that the game could probably benefit from having like tutorial pop-ups when you go through here for the first time. I felt it out myself. It took me about 20 minutes or so to kind of get everything, everything figured out. I'm going to open that door. You got to click and drag to open doors. All right, so we're walking into the first hallway. I'm going to warn you, we're going to die a lot in this game. I am not good at it. I made it actually almost pretty far last night, but then I ran into a guy that had, like, brigandine armor, and he had, like, a battle axe, and, like, it felt like no matter how much I hit him, he would not die, and so eventually he just attritioned me down by accidental hits. And let's see, we've got a door over here? Alright, let's go check this door out. What's up with... Oh, that door's locked. We can't go into that one. Okay, well, we'll turn around and go this way. Is there anything down this hallway right here? There's another door. A door with a big spiky thing in front of it. That door is also locked, so we're not able to go that way. Alright, I don't think we can search the barrels or anything, I'm pretty sure. Nope, you can't search the barrels, but there are, like, treasure chests and stuff you can find around that'll have, like, various armors and, like, sundries inside of them. I think there should be a door on the left and a door on the right. The door on the left, I think, goes to, like, a big log pile thing. 
And I don't think there's anything in there. It's just a big log pile area. Well, don't reclose the door. I'm trying to go in there. There we go. Perfect. Don't trip on the wall. If you trip on the wall, I'm going to be very, very upset with you. I don't see anything inside of this room. There's no, like, chests or anything. So I think we're just going to bypass and not participate in whatever this is. Uh, we'll go into this room right here. And I think our first enemy is inside of here. We'll open that up. Yeah, there he is. I'm pretty sure as long as I don't brandish at him, he won't bother me. Yeah, like, I'm almost positive as long as you don't mess with him, he won't mess with you. Can I get into this crate right here? I can? Oh, good. Okay, so we've got some kind of weird pilgrim shirt right there. What kind of shirt is that? It's a worn jacket. All right, well, I'll put it on. We've got a worn jacket now. We've also got a real pair of shoes, so that's pretty sweet. I'll probably throw those back in there. We've got an axe. Oh, but it's two-handed. Oh. Well, that's not helpful. Like, I need the torch, otherwise I can't see. Like, this game is very, very dark. You are down in a dungeon and there are very few light sources. There will be occasional rooms where you can see okay. But by and large, eh, it's a little... That guy's just gonna walk around, huh? Alright. Well, if you don't bother me, I won't bother you, bro. As long as uh, we keep it chill. What's inside this room right here? Anything? I hear doors opening. I don't think that's good. Why do I hear doors open? Is this guy going to attack me? I see a dude over here. Are you going to attack me, brother? Are you going to attack me? You're not going to try to smack me with that hammer, are you? Please don't smack me with that hammer. I would love it if you would not smack me with a hammer. It looks like he's not that interested in me. This looks like some kind of blacksmithy. Maybe we can find something inside of here. I see a hammer over here, and I see two large poles on that side. Can I get into that crate right there? No, I can't get into the crate. I think I'm going to take the hammer. I think I'm definitely going to take the hammer. Let's get the hammer. And we'll put that inside of our inventory. How good is the hammer? So it's got impact. It's got balance. And slap. Oh, the axe is so good, though. How is my spike? What does my spike do? It's got impact. It's got balance. But it's got no crushing. Okay. Well, let's go with the hammer. We'll have We'll have ourselves equipped with the peen hammer right now. What is that? Is that some kind of like, what is that, a cage bar? It's got impact. It's got a little bit of balance. Okay. I could probably leave this on the table. It's probably not that important. We can just like put that over there. We'll also take the spike and we'll probably put that right there too. What is that right there? Is that another hammer or is that an axe? I can't tell what that is. Is that a hammer or an axe? That's a hammer. Is it better than the hammer that I currently have? It's a blacksmith's hammer. Oh, it's the same thing. All right, well, just in case our weapon, like, breaks or something, which I don't even know if that's a thing that can happen, but just in case, we'll keep our, we'll keep both of them. We'll have, like, a backup whooping hammer just in case. Uh, what is that thing over there? Hold on. There's something on the table over here. What is that? What is this? A handsaw. It's got impact, it's got some balance, and it's got some slash. What is that, a plate? Oh, I thought it might be a shield or something for a second. I was, I was definitely interested in being in the market for a plate. You're not going to attack me, are you? I don't think this guy minds our existence. What is that right there? Ooh, a sledgehammer. Ooh, i never seen that before. Yeah, dude, I want the sledgehammer. Put the sledgehammer inside my inventory, too, just in case. We might need that. So we've got an axe, we've got a sledgehammer, and we've got a little hammer right there. I love the Diablo-style inventory that you can just, like, throw things into. Makes me happy. No shields or anything so far, though. Mm. What was down this way? Oh, this is the door that I came through. Okay, what was inside this room? Anything? It's so dark. I don't see a chest or anything. Just looks like a busted table. Oh, that guy's attacking me. He is attacking me. I have been smacked. I suggest that we smack him back. Ow, dude. I'm getting whooped on right now. There we go. Hit him back. Yeah, how you like me now? I don't I tried to do my alternate strike right there because I wasn't sure what it would be. Keep smacking. Yeah, that was a good one right there. Ow, dude. Ow, dude. Ow, dude. Parry. All 
Are we swinging the hammer or are we just holding the hammer aggressively? It's a valid question. If I could get unstuck from this pile of logs, that would be great. I would appreciate it. There we go. Smack him. I think he's down. Is he down? He's not down. That log tried to give us an assist right there. Ow, dude. I'm stuck in the corner. Stuck in the corner! I'm stuck in the corner! And so as you can see, this game is basically drunk people fighting. This game would be a lot easier if you weren't constantly getting stuck on everything on the floor. But you know. I've been knocked out now. Half of my health is like permanently gone. Uh, this guy is still standing over my body waiting to like finish me or something. Yeah, exactly. There was really no point in me waking up right there. He was just going to smack me before I got out of my animation anyways. But yeah, welcome to X Anima, a game where you die in the first combat. And then it doesn't let you get back up, so you just keep repeatedly dying while laying on the ground. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's just go back in and we'll start it on off again. Uh, I want to express to you how utterly uncontrollable the characters are in this game. This is in every way a physics game. It is fun though. I want to be clear about that is like it is fun. It's just that like sometimes your character will get his foot like stuck on a chair that's on the floor and you'll sit there and be like, "Oh my god," while you're getting beat to death by some guy with a handsaw. So I get the feeling we need some more combat practice. We need to get better at our job of being a guy with a terrible haircut inside of a dungeon, which apparently in the year of our Lord 2020 is uh, an avenue of employment. Let's open this one up right here, and we'll put that right there. All right, so we got our spike. I can stab a guy if I need to. Did this open outwards or inwards? It opens outwards. My biggest enemy in this game, doors that open outwards. All right, we're going to, like, fight everybody from now on. I'm not going to let any of these guys have a pass. We're going to do some we're going to do some honorable battle out here, okay? I got to itch my eyebrow first though. What's up, man? Look, I'm brandishing a weapon at you. Doesn't that upset you? Aren't you like upset with me right now? You seem pretty upset. All right, fall back, fall back. Then forward with the thing. Okay, now rotate back. Oh, he's running for it. He's running for it. Yeah, we got this man on the ropes. Well, if you could move, please. I'm holding the S key, so I don't know why you're not moving. There you go, there you go. Oh, we got him. We killed him. Nice, he's down. Okay, so that combat is over. Let's see if he's got anything that I want. What do you have? What are those? Cloth trousers? Dude, I don't need your pants right now. I think I'm good on the whole pants. Oh, he had an axe, though. I do want that axe. Yeah, let me get that hatchet. Like, I think the head is the part of this that is primed, though. So if we hit them with, like, the haft or whatever, it doesn't deal any damage. So the weapons have, like, damage zones in this game. Which means you always want to, like, kind of prioritize weapons, at least in my opinion. As I've gotten, like, a little bit further into the game. You always want to prioritize weapons that have a maximum edge to them. Ooh. What is that, like, a, a bill hook? A rudimentary polearm. What is that, a thick liver? Yeah, we could use that. Let me have a thick leather tunic, please. I'll definitely take that. And then we've got some kind of belt, I guess. What does the belt do? It gives me some kind of defense. All right. Well, we've got, like, a peasant-looking outfit now. We look like an extra in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Like, it's Henry, my lord. Look upon Henry. God be with you, Henry. It's probably a good idea that I don't brandish my weapon at anybody else through the dungeon. You could make an argument right now that I'm brandishing already. Wasn't this the blacksmith area? There's a hammer over there. There's another spike on that side. What is that thing right there? What is that? What are you? A chisel. What do I need a chisel for? I don't think I need a chisel. What is this? Like a haft? Oh, it's another spike. Okay. I don't think I need any more spikes, so I think we could put that right there. There's a letter inside of our inventory. This appears to be the final page of a letter. Assist him in any way you can. If all else fails, then recover any information he has gathered and bring it to me. There is potential in you. Succeed here and we will find a place for you. Badly scribbled across the back of the page are the following words. There is another way out. Okay, there's a dude over here that has like a giant beating hammer. Is he going to attack me? Please don't attack me. He's going to attack me. Alright. Well, apparently if he's going to attack me, we have to fight him. I'm going to center my camera. Come on, pal. 
Come on, pal. What do you want to do right now? What do you want to do right now? That's right, you got a big wooden thing in front of you. Oh, I tripped and fell, but so did he. Good. The great equalizer. We both tripped and fell over a bucket. I can't say if any of what I just did was successful. What I can say is this, is he does appear to be stuck. Uh, I need to get my camera rotated, please. Oh, that was a good one right there. Oh, no, there's two of them. Nope, 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 nope. There's two of them. So I thought to myself, maybe clothing was the problem. Like, maybe it's because I'm too reliant on clothing that I'm getting dominated in this dungeon, okay? I'm getting absolutely buried. At least last time we managed to kill a guy because we're a god like that. This time around, I don't know exactly how it's gonna go, but it's gotta go better than last time, okay? Let's go in here. Does this guy still have an ax? He does, I do want that ax back. I'm gonna brandish at him. Yeah, stab him, there we go. Yep, just keep stabbing. Stabbing is the secret to victory. What you wanna do, what you wanna do, I'm going back and forth, going back and forth, going back and forth, I'm like Grease Lightning, bro. Oh, he's running for it. Oh, you little punk. What kind of what kind of wussy undead lich that lives in the bottom of a dungeon with a hatchet runs away when he's had a little bit of damage dealt to him? I haven't Ooh, what is that? Ooh, what is that? A long knife? Well, I mean, we've got pants now, so that's good. Perfect. Yeah, let's throw some pants on, bro. What's that thing right there? Is it good? What is it? Hold on. No, that's pants. I don't care about pants. I care about the mace. Maybe the mace is good. I'm going to take the knife, too. I've never seen either of these weapons. That is one fun thing about this game, is that the gear appears to be randomized when you go through the chests. And so, like, it's pretty cool the way that you get to play around with different weapons, even if you're not making it very far in the game. Dude, I got a real weapon now. I'm ready to go. Let's do this thing. Nowhere to run to, nowhere to hide. Yeah. How you like me now, shana -na, na Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. There is nowhere for you to go, sir. There is nowhere. Oh, God. He's a god. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, he's on to me. He got me with that backhand. Ooh, he got knocked out with that mace, though. Caught it to the side of the head with that quick C. The secret to combat right there is you got to block the axe with your torso. That way, he's just like, oh, my God, I can't believe he blocked that with his righteous abs. And then, while the axe is stuck inside of your pectoral muscle, you smash him in the face with the mace. See, that's I'm giving you the, the hot medieval combat secrets right now. I don't know what weapon I like better. I think the mace two-shotted that guy, though, which seems pretty good. My health has been permanently diminished, which is worrisome. Don't like that very much. Sort of worries me a tiny bit. But we've got pants. You know, we've got pants. Things are going to be okay as long as you've got pants. That's a splatter cat secret right there. All right, so this room right here, this is like a storage room, maybe? What is this right here? I don't see anything in the storage room. Oh, there's some gloves right there. Never mind. I see them on the I see them on the table. There's some gloves. There we go. So now we got gloves. Just in case. We gotta protect the important stuff and leave all the things that don't matter, like my heart, lungs, kidney, liver, all that stuff, completely uncovered by any type of armor. Because that's what a man does in battle. I've seen Rambo. You're not allowed to put on shirts. Is there anything intradasting back up in here? No? Just a bunch of logs and stuff? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Logs are coo. Logs are coo. Wait, what is that right there? That's a handsaw? I don't think I want that. I think I'm going to stay with the beat stick. Oh, dude, my beat stick has blood all over it. Apparently, that zombie had an extra supply of that gooey stuff inside of him. All right, well, let's swing this thing around the corner over here. I'm going to try to keep the camera centered behind me because I seem to fight better when I have it centered behind me. There's a jar over here. It's a door that's slightly open. Who is... Oh, Jesus! He 
just tried to hit me with something. Oh, that man just took damage. You can find out, bro. I got this for you. You don't want these problems. You don't want this smoke. You don't want this smoke, bro. You don't want these problems. Yeah, sit your ass down. Uh, get some. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, chill, chill, chill. Got a reset of the camera. Oh, and that's the fatality. Got him. This guy's got body armor. Hold on, let me have your body armor. Let me have that. I'm going to take that shirt. I'm going to take that body armor. I'm going to take them shoes because my feet are not nearly calloused enough for what we're doing right now. What was he hitting me with? Was it just like a bit of wood? It was. It was literally a hunk of wood that he was beating me with. All right, or at least attempting to beat me with. I don't think he succeeded. Oh, is that another guy right there? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got another, we got another enemy. Is this guy friendly? This guy hot? Are you hostile, bro? You got problems, bro? Oh, you better stop looking at me with that sideways eye before I put this beat stick up against you. Please, uh, he wants the smoke, chat. He wants the smoke. All right, let's give him the smoke, chat. He wanted it. He was looking at me sideways. That's, that's legal. That's right there. That's legal law. If somebody looks at you sideways, you are allowed to bludgeon them to death with a knob on a stick. Hey, hey, you. Don't give me that sideways eye. What you want to say to me? Huh? You got something to say, cuz? We from the west side. Sometimes I find that if you swing, it makes them actually start fighting you. Oh, I missed. I missed. I'm terrible at my job. I had one job, and it was to hit the guy with the thing, and I failed. There we go. Hit him. Hit him. Oh! Bring him the smoke! I think my weapon is stuck on this guy. Yeah! There we go. Bring him the smoke, chat. Bring him the smoke. That's what we've done out here. You got anything good on you? You got these whack-ass J's. I don't want those. I don't want those. Those are from last season. I don't care about those. All right, let's move this way. I need to find, like, some healing or something. I'm not feeling too good. You could say this run is going much better than our last run, but I think that should be taken with a grain of salt because, like, our runs have not been going that well anyways. Please, God, let there be no more enemies in here. If there is another enemy in here, I will cry. I will grown man ugly cry because I can't deal with fighting anybody right now. I'm too injured. I'm wounded both emotionally and physically. This beat stick's pretty good. I hope this drops in some of my other playthroughs, dude. I played this game for like an hour last night, and I think I only had one run that did better than this one right here. Like, you get a feel for the combat, it's just the relativity of the camera angle and the movement that takes a lot of getting used to. Like, you know how it used to feel when you would play Resident Evil, and you would kind of have trouble moving sometimes when the camera was at a weird angle or whatever? It's the same thing in this game. What's, what's going on in here? We got a bottle. We got a bottle. We got a jar. What is that right there? A thick leather vest? Can I put that on? Like, do I want that? Is that better than what? That looks kind of like a, let's see, coverage. Let's put this next to each other. So that protects me from impact and slashing. This gives me better piercing. So the heavy, the thick leather vest is actually better than our waistcoat. Okay, is that gold right there? That looks like it was copper. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It looked like it was made out of gold for a second. So I was like, oh, well, if it's made out of gold, I'm going to take that. I don't know if it's worth it to go through all of these bottles or even how you tell if a bottle has anything inside of it in this game. I know there's like healing potions and stuff, but my eye is not practiced enough to like pick them off of shelves and things like that. I don't see any more boxes or crates or anything over there. All things considered, our health is pretty good right now. I'm feeling pretty solid. I'm just gonna take it real slow. I don't want to rush headlong into any whoopings inside any of these rooms. What is that? It's a trowel. Okay. Can I go through these over here? What are these? Like an urn rack or something? It's like a crematorium. Like what is this in here? A catalog exhaustively describing many common and unremarkable plants in great detail. It's hard to imagine why anyone would undertake such a pointless endeavor. Ooh, it was a chest. What's in the chest? Gardening tools? 
There's a jacket over here. It's not very good, though. Some quilted trousers. Those might be better than what we have. What do we have? We've got tough leather trousers. So we've got slash and pierce, but we can get impact and all that other stuff, too. It looks like it adds encumbrance, unfortunately. We can put them on. Uh, encumbrance basically affects how your character is able to, like, move around and how fast and swiftly you move in combat. There is plate mail, and there are, you know, all kinds of random, like, breastplates and things in this game. I tripped and fell over a box and then smacked my head on the floor. This is how my adventure ends, chat. Not by a mace or a cudgel or a blade, but my, by me slipping over a box and hitting my head on the floor. Because that's how heroes die. That's how all the heroes leave us too soon. What's up with you, man? Are you going to attack me? Doesn't look like you're going to attack me. It's probably a good thing. I don't want to be attacked. Like, you look like you carry... You've got a quilted... You've got, like, an actual gambeson on. Alright? You've got yourself an actual suit of armor. Technically, I could kill you and take it, but that two-handed axe you're wielding kind of worries me. I bet that thing, like, kills me in two hits. I bet you. If he lands, like, two good ones, I bet I die. Now, this game is a bit of a maze, too. You're going to have to find your way out of it. Uh, prepare to get used to kind of navigating all these halls. I do think one of the reasons why that becomes challenging is because it, like, blacks out anything you don't actively have line of sight on. Are you going to fight me, bro? I never know with any of these zombies if they're going to fight me or not. Like, sometimes it seems like they run up on me super hot. And then other times, it seems like they don't want nothing to do with me. Oh, here's a normal human being. Hello, normal human being. Who are you? Uh, just a farmhand. My name is Darren. Uh, well met, Darren. I am Quaffman. You think? Well, I seem to be having trouble remembering things. How did you get here? Can you get out? I don't know. I certainly intend to. What about the dead ones? Eh, they don't seem to be very aggressive. I'll probably just try to avoid them. One of them chased me. If I die, I'll stay here. Maybe we can get out together. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. All I've got is this stick, though. Are you able to fight? My dad was a soldier. Tried to teach me some, but I wasn't much for it. What about you? Um, I can handle the undead. Shh, don't say it too loud, though. One of them's right behind us. We should look around. My dad would say a good shirt can save your skin. All right, well, let me know if you see anything useful. Let's go for now. There's a treasure chest over here. I see it. So I guess we got a homie now. We got, we get, we got a homeboy out here. There's another pair of gloves right there. Are those any good? Worn leather gloves? What do I have on? I have fine leather gloves, so half slash, half pierce. That's half slash, half pierce. Okay. Can I give these to Darren? Is that possible? Oh, it doesn't look like I can equip him with stuff. All he's got is a piece of wood, too. Well, I'll probably just keep it where I've got it. What is that right there? Is that a book? A detailed log of various materials being delivered and dispatched. The script and some of the spelling seem very unusual. What you assume must be dates have a format you can't make sense of. Okay. I don't see any more treasures in here. But we got Darren, so that's pretty cool. Oh, there's dead guys in here. Two dead guys. What's up with this dude? Oh, he's got some pretty dope boots. Impact slash pierce. Yeah, dude, let me have those boots. Let me get those shoes off your feet. Sorry, brother, you're dead. I'm not. Oh, what is this? A thick tunic and then cloth trousers. All right, so I don't need any of that. What did this guy have? Nothing? Okay. That guy doesn't have anything. Is there anything in this cabinet? Ooh, there is. You can get into the cabinet. What is that? A counter? A glass counter. I'll take it. Do you mean it's like a... Like it's just like a little coin maybe for accounting or something? Those boots look nicer than my boots. I'm going to wear those boots right there because I am style forward, chat. Is that soap? I don't know if we need soap. I also, as of yet, have not figured out how to get the red part of my meter refilled right there. The yellow part is our active health. But I haven't quite managed to figure out how you get the red part restored. I assume you need potions or something. That door's locked. Okay. Move, Darren. Move. You're in the way. Move, Darren. Sometimes he's got to shove him out of the way, NFL style. 
Just drive Darren through the wall if he won't get back. All right, what do we have going on over here? A room with a guy with a scary hammer. Okay, are you guys aggressive? I don't know if they're aggressive or not. They don't look that aggressive. The problem with leaving these guys behind me, though, is if I get attacked by anybody else, I think they'll probably jump in. That guy's got, like, what, a half a chair? What do you have right there? What is that weapon? Looks like a half a chair to me. Why won't the door open? Oh, it's got a log behind it. Okay. I don't know if I can move the log from that side, but... I don't see any chests or anything back there. A ladder that goes up on that side. It's like a wine cellar or something. What's up with this door? Looks like it's blocked. Okay. What's down this? Oh, that guy's got a hat though. What if I need a hat to like protect my domicle? Come, fair Darren. Join me. Darren. Come on, buddy. Darren. Darren, you coming? Beep. Back it up. Darren, hey. You coming, Darren? Darren. Darren. Come with me. I want to close that door, though, just in case we get attacked in here. I'm going to close that door so that the bad guys can't follow me. All right. Into battle. Let's go, noble Darren. It is time for us to crush our enemies. That guy's got a quilted jacket. I say we kill him for it. Let's murder this dude for his coat. Oh, there's two of them. Oof. That man tried to slap me with a piece of wood. Yeah, that was the good hit right there. That man just got ended. All right, take a swing, take a swing. You won't, ooh, enjoy that to the side of your dome. Enjoy that to the side of your dome. You're now dead. Who's next? Who's next? That man got a battle axe, watch out. Oh God, battle axe to the jaw. It hurts so much. Darren. Darren, I hate to be that guy, but I'm gonna need an assist here, pal. I'm gonna need some backup here, Darren. There you go, Darren. There you go, work him, Darren. He doesn't seem too interested in me. I can't seem to hit him. Oh, he's running for it, maybe? I don't know what's happening here. I'm so... Oh, Darren's a god. Darren just ended that man. He stabbed him with a piece of table. Damn, Darren, you terrifying. What army was your dad in where he taught you how to stab people with a table? It looks like a pretty good gamison. Is it better than what I have? What do I have? So I've got a little bit of impact. I've got a little bit of slash. It's got crush, pierce. It's basically the identical same thing that I already have. The only difference is it looks like... Oh, it layers. Oh. Okay. That's good. Well, we would have done really good in that fight if I hadn't taken an axe to the jaw. Those two-handed axes, man. They tend to hurt when you take them straight to the head. Is there anything interesting in here? <gasps> There's a key. What does the key go to? What is that, a candlestick? Yeah. Ooh, there's a buckler. Nice, dude. I will absolutely take that with me for sure. And then there's a key or something right there, right? Is that a key? Yes, that's a key. What does it go to? This guy can also be looted, but he's only got a waistcoat. Doesn't look like he has anything other than fancy man clothes. Oh, he's got a letter. Dearest Mathis, Ilara has disappeared and many have gone missing of late, but bandits in the area are not uncommon. Ilara, however, does not travel. Why would they have taken her? I dread to think what they might do to her. I thought of a ransom, and so I am ashamed to admit I thought of you, but there have been no requests for ransom. Just more and more missing. I assume news of these events has not reached Ardent. It has been long since we have seen a proctor. What am I to do, dear cousin? Will you at least advise me? Okay. I don't know what the key goes to, but as long as we have Darren with me, I feel pretty safe right now. I'll be honest with you, Darren is the equivalent of a half a chair wielding thug hug. Alright? I don't know if that looks like it opens. 
There's a lever on the back side right there, so I assume we gotta go to the other side in order to make that work. But this direction seems like it may be fruitful. Oh no, dude, I'm lost again. I know where I am. Okay, so there's like that back hallway back there. This is X Anima. I didn't realize how long I've been playing. I tend to zone out when I play this game. I'll be honest with you. I tend to zone out a little bit when I play this game. And zone out I did. I super zoned out. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. If you want to get this game for yourself, I got a link for you down below in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit it with a like. Helps me out as a content creator. Aside from that, I will see you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. If you don't know who I am, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Take care, and I'll see you all tomorrow.